what essentially and arguably is the sort of basic ingredient of virtually all flies and and that's the hackle and before we we talk about them we should look at what constitutes a hackle there's two types and i'm going to put up two in front of the camera just to sort of show you this one here is from a male bird it's called a cock hackle and this one here is from the, the hen, the chicken. And they are completely different in the, the way the, the fibers are set out. If I just put that to the, the vise, you can see the hen hackle here. It's very soft, very easily bent, whereas the cock hackle because it's spikier, is less likely to, to bend. And when fly tying evolved, the, <coughs> the reason why the cock hackle was, was used was because when you put it onto the, the hook, it was very stiff and able to support the weight of the hook, which was called a dry fly. So it, it, it floated on the surface as opposed to a wet fly, which obviously sinks and is able to sink down into the water without um, any sort of um, floating before it sank. So that, that's essentially a hen hackle for a wet fly, a cock hackle for a dry fly. Now, like everything else, there's lots of um, exceptions to the, ro the rule on that, but um, that essentially is the, uh, the two main types of hackles.